A smart plug that works with Amazon Alexa and Apple HomeKit? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at smart plugs today. Specifically, I'm looking at this. This is the KuGeek Smart Plug P2. Now, there's also the P1 and the P1 looks pretty similar but it's square, not more rounded and it only works with Apple HomeKit. So, less exciting. So, the P2 is much more interesting because it works with Apple HomeKit and it works with the Amazon Alexa system. Amazingly, it didn't respond. <laughs> um, so let's just go and start it out, right? So Alexa, turn on nightlight. See that okay. little ring? Alexa, turn off nightlight. More fun. Okay. Hey Siri, turn on party lights. Done. Alexa, turn off party lights. Okay. You got to admit, that's pretty cool. It's really, really a nice little device. And I'm going to just unplug it so you can see it's pretty small. And the night light is actually a ring on the outside and you can actually adjust the brightness or intensity. So this could be perfect for children because among other things the KuGeek app, which you can get on iOS or Android, lets you schedule. So you can schedule having it on at 6 p.m. and then maybe at 8 p.m. it gets a little bit less bright and then at 10 p.m. it just shuts off entirely because by that point your child's actually asleep. And this could just be automated every night. It works that way. And you actually have control of the night light ring separate to whatever it is you plug into this device, which I think you just saw there a second ago. So it's really easy to work with. It does involve using a bunch of different apps in total, including giving specific custom names to all the devices on both Siri and in the Alexa system then it took me maybe five minutes to configure it. If you wanted to use default names, it would be faster. I like having that, but it gives me all sorts of neat capabilities. So like on my iPhone, if I go into Apple HomeKit, and I'll give you a screenshot so you can see closer, but now I can see bedroom nightlight and I can see party lights. So I can tap, oops, I guess I should have it plugged in. Let's try that again. And it's on and tap and it's off. That's about as easy as it gets. But of course, the real gem is the whole voice control system. And that's where this is really fun. And we have these throughout the house. So I can do things like, for example, Alexa, turn on fairy lights. And okay, those are the lights in my daughter's bedroom. And she is now sitting there saying, why did these lights come on? <laughs> it's really fun. Now, with the KuGeek app itself, you actually have access to your switch from anywhere in the world, as long as you're on your local Wi-Fi network. So I could actually be at a conference somewhere else and say, hmm, I see suspicious characters in my driveway because of my driveway cam. Let me go ahead and turn on a light and I can just tap a button on my phone and the light would turn on even though I might be hundreds of miles away. That's pretty cool. But really, what I most enjoy about all these smart plugs is the fact that I can walk into the house and just by talking have things start to happen. Have lights turn on, have the coffee maker start working, whatever it is you want to plug in, it's really nice. Now, one more really cool thing about the KuGeek smart plug P2 is that it has an energy monitor. So you can also plug in something where you're like, I wonder how much energy this uses. And it will show you a monitor over days or weeks. So you can actually see, for example, plug in your child's television and then you can see, do they really turn on the TV at midnight and watch for a couple hours? And not only that, you could control it remotely. You could say, hey, turn off the TV and you don't even have to be in the room <laughs> now. When you do that, they probably will say, well, I can bypass the smart plug, can't I, Dad? <laughs> so that's probably not a great strategy, but you can use it for energy monitoring, which I really like. Now, the only other thing I want to tell you about this is that ugh, it actually is 120 volts and it can work with up to a 15 amp product 
and up to 1500 watts. So make sure you don't put something too powerful in this. I would not plug this into a refrigerator, for example, because that's going to draw more amps, I think. So for most things, maybe a space heater, I'd also check the specs, but for a fan, for a, a light, for a multi-light um, system, whatever it is, this should work great. Imagine having all your track lights and as you walk in, you just say, you know, hey, turn on the kitchen lights and they all light up. Really nice. So before I tell you the price and think you'll be impressed by the price, let me just tell you that it would be fantastic if you would be willing to click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. So thank you for subscribing. And while we're at it, let me just ask if you can click on that thumbs up, give me some feedback on this video. Cool. So, only thing left is the price. Now, the Kugi Smart Plug P2 works with Amazon Alexa and with Apple HomeKit. It is $35.99 at Amazon.com. And if you check the Kugi site, it might be actually less. So, worth checking out. And honestly, a small investment to make your house feel a whole lot smarter. So, it's Dave Taylor, and I'll catch you in my next video.